Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let us look at how to find the equation of the pair of lines which are intersecting at a specific point and also perpendicular or parallel to the given pair of straight lines. One way of finding the solution is to take the given pair of lines and get it into two different straight lines then we can find out the lines which are parallel to those lines and also passing through the point but is there any other formula which we can easily apply and find out this problem for that what we will do we'll see what we can do if i take a second degree homogeneous equation and try to find out a set of pair of straight lines which are passing through a particular point and parallel to this particular equation. So let's first write down. We know that ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0 represents a pair of straight lines. Then we know that we can write it as l1x plus m1y into l2x plus m2y equal to 0 and we already did this exercise where we can compare the coefficients and based on that we know that a equal to l1 into l2 b equal to m1 into m2 and 2h equal to l1 m2 plus l2 m1 now what we need to find out, we need to find out a pair of straight lines which are parallel to ax square plus 2hx square plus by square equal to 0 and also let us say that that straight line has to pass through a point x1 comma y1. So we need a pair of straight lines which are parallel to ax square plus 2hx square plus by square equal to 0 and also intersecting at this particular point or they pass through this point that means it's a common point to both the straight lines now what we will do we will take these lines separately we'll try to find out the line which is parallel to the given lines and also passing through the point x1 comma y1 so let us do that this we can do easily with our straight lines knowledge whatever we have so we can write down what we need is line parallel to line parallel to l1x plus m1y equal to 0 and it has to pass through x1 comma y1 so what i can write it i can write it as l1x plus m1y the slopes are same so it will be the same x and y quotients plus some constant 1 equal to 0. Now we have to find out the constant 1. For that what we will do? We will substitute x1 comma y1 in the given equation. We will have l1 x1 plus m1 y1 plus k1 equal to 0 which also tells me that k1 is equal to minus of l1 x1 minus of m1 y1 now we can substitute this in the equation what we want then we will get l1x plus m1y minus l1x1 minus m1y1 equal to 0 or can I say the equation of the line what we want is l1 into x minus x1 plus m1 into y minus y1 is equal to 0. So this is the line which is parallel to L1x plus M1y equal to 0 and also passing through the point x1 comma y1. So let's write down our first equation what we got. That's nothing but L1 into x minus x1 plus M1 into y minus y1 is equal to 0. Similarly, when we try for the second one, which is parallel to L2x plus if this becomes L2x and M2y we know that wherever L1 is there it will become L2 and M1 will become L2 so the second set of 
equation which is parallel to L to X plus M to Y and passing through the point X1 comma Y1 will be nothing but L2 into X minus X1 plus M2 into Y minus Y1 is equal to 0. Now, if I multiply these two, whatever the lines we got, if I multiply these two lines, that will be nothing but equal to a pair of straight lines which are parallel to this given lines and also passing through x1 comma y1. So, let us go ahead and multiply that. What will happen? Let us see. I will multiply these two lines. We will write down L1 into x minus x1 plus m1 into y minus y1. This I have to multiply with second line that is L2 into x minus x1 plus m2 into y minus y1 this whole thing equal to 0. Now, let us try to simplify this. This is nothing but equal to if we multiply L1 into x minus x1 L2 into x minus x1. So, can I write down L1 L2 into x minus x1 whole square. Next, we have L1 into x minus x1 multiply with m2 into y minus y1. Similarly, m1 into y minus y1 multiply with L2 into x minus x1. So, we can write down plus L1 m2 plus L2 m1 multiply that with x minus x1 into y minus y1. We can do that because we can take x minus x1 y minus y1 common there. And at the end we have m1 m2 into y minus y1 whole square is equal to 0. Now, let us go back and substitute what is the value of L1 L2 that is nothing but A into x minus x1 whole square plus L1 m2 plus L2 m1 is 2H into x minus x1 into y minus y1 plus m1 m2 is equal to b. So, can I say b into y minus y1 whole square equal to 0. So, if we know that a x square plus 2 h x square plus b y square is a given pair of straight lines, we need pair of straight lines which are parallel to this and also passing through a point x1 comma y1. Then it is given by a into x minus x1 whole square plus 2 h into x minus x 1 into y minus y 1 plus b into y minus y 1 whole square equal to 0. Now, we can leverage this particular formula and try to solve this problem whatever is given to us. In the, so, leveraging the formula whatever we know given pair of straight lines is 6 x square let us write down that 6 x square minus 13 x y minus 5 y square is equal to 0. According to us, the equation will be A will remain as it is. So, 6 into x minus x 1. We know that x 1 is 2 and y 1 is minus 1. So, y 1 is minus 1. So, we can substitute that value and say 6 into x minus 2 whole square according to us plus 2 h. So, it will remain as it is minus 13 into x minus 2 into y minus y 1, but y 1 is minus 1. So, it will become y plus 1 minus 5 into y plus 1 whole square is equal to 0. Let us simplify this. We have 6 into x minus 2 whole square. So, can I write down 6 into x square minus 4 x plus 4 minus 13 into x y plus x minus 2 y minus 2 minus 5 into y square plus 2 y plus 1 is equal to 0. We can open the brackets and we can write it as 6 x square minus 24 x plus 24 minus 13 x y minus 13 x plus 26 y plus 26 
minus 5y square minus 10y minus 5 equal to 0. We can simplify that. We have 6x square as it is. We will write down the xy term that is minus 13xy. Then we have write down, we will write down the y square term that is minus 5y square. Let us go to x, x terms. I have one x here and I have another x here. So that is nothing but equal to minus 37x. Then we have y. We have 126y here. We have 10y here. We simplify that. We get plus 16y. Then 24 plus 26 is 50. 50 minus 5 is 45. So it will be nothing but plus 45 is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the straight line which is parallel to which is parallel to the given pair of lines and also passing through the point 2 comma minus 1 or they have their point of intersection is 2 comma minus 1. It is very simple what we have to do wherever x is there we will put x minus 2 wherever y is there we will put it as y plus 1 and wherever y is there we will put y plus 1 we will just substitute it without changing anything in the quotients. This is for parallel to the a particular given player. So, given pair of straight lines. In the next session, we will see how to find out the equation of pair of lines intersecting at a point and perpendicular to the given line. So, here we know for parallel, the A, 2H and B will remain with the same thing. X will become X minus Y1 and Y will become Y minus Y1 in the given equation. So, in the next session, we will see how to do the perpendicular to the pair.